Today, it's all about Hilux injectors. I'm Matty B, this is Diesel Geeks. So how do you know if your Hilux injectors are bad? Recognizing bad Hilux injectors is the key to maintaining your vehicle's health. The main symptom that many are gonna see, especially with a Toyota, is a pretty horrendous engine knock when the engine is cold. Other symptoms can include poor fuel efficiency, difficulty starting, uneven engine idling, black smoke out the exhaust, you know the standard drills. If your Toyota Hilux exhibits any of these signs, it might be time to consider getting them diagnosed. Don't wait for a complete failure because that can be bloody costly. If you suspect an issue, we have a fantastic blog post on how to diagnose your injectors. I'm gonna link it here somewhere. Um, and if that's something you're not comfortable with, please do seek out a Diesel Geeks affiliated repair center. These guys know their shit and they'll be able to sort you out very quickly. Okay, one thing I'm super excited to share with you guys. Why is the cold knock phenomenon isolated to Toyotas? Toyota's issues with the sometimes horrendous cold knock is actually a result of their electrical profile choice in firing the injectors. Most manufacturers will send up to a 20 amp to fire the injector off and then drop it down to what we call a 5 amp hold pattern. When it's time to close the injector, however, they reverse the current flow and basically change the polarity of the magnet inside and force the injector shut. Toyota doesn't do this. Essentially, they just allow the injector springs internally to close the injector, and this is the problem in our opinion. To learn more about this situation that is specific to Toyota, please see our blog post here. So how long should Hilux injectors last? Hilux injectors, when maintained properly, will last between 150 and 200,000 kilometers. However, this lifespan can be dramatically affected by factors such as fuel quality, driving habits, ambient conditions even, and how you generally maintain your vehicle. Regular checks and services are crucial to ensure the best performance and longevity from your injectors. At Diesel Geeks, we offer genuine Denso injectors to keep your Hilux running smoothly. For more information on the steps and actions that you can take to keep your injectors firing correctly, please see this link here. What year 1KD Hilux have injector problems? Certain models of the Toyota Hilux, particularly those manufactured between 2005 and 2015, have been noted to experience injector issues. Worst of which, in our opinion, was 2006 to early 2009. These problems are often due to the common rail diesel injection system, which whilst efficient, can be prone to wear and contamination over time. If you own a Hilux from these years and are experiencing injector related issues, adding the right products to your cart and seeking professional assistance will help mitigate these problems. So what changed with the different part numbers over time? Toyota were aware of the knocking problem in particular, and by looking at the evolution of the part numbers that went into the specific vehicles, you can see a bit of a pattern that starts to form. The initial injectors came out with no diamond-like carbon coating. Again, another blog post. The initial injectors came out with no DLC coating anywhere and a standard actuation circuit. Again, we'll blog post or DLC. The first update was that they offered a change to the nozzle needle and that was basically swapped out for a unit that was DLC coded. Now when we get into the case of the 2006 to 2009 problematic versions, the final version of the injector is known as a 39316 or basically a 30280 and it had very specific changes to its actuation circuit on the top of the injector. The armature and the spring assembly were both changed. Now the first thing they did was dramatically increase the spring tension, which basically helps the injector close at the end of the stroke. And then they DLC coated the armature as well. What many don't know, however, is that they also changed the base material, metal composition, to make it more magnetic to help the coil overcome this higher spring tension. Time for some frequently asked questions. Now, should you replace your fuel lines with your injectors? Replacing your fuel lines with your injectors is absolutely recommended, especially if your vehicle has high mileage. This precaution helps prevent potential contamination or damage to your new injectors from cavitation erosion, which is literally metal pieces breaking out of those fuel lines and going through your shiny new injectors. 
We produced a whole technical article on this, and again, another blog post, and we'll link at the bottom of this video. So how do I tell what part number I need? You can use a website like Toyo DIY, input your VIN, and get the Toyota part number and cross-reference it from there. You can use the search bar on the top of this page to help select the right injector for your car, but the main option that we actually recommend is to use the injector codes, either in the ECU or on the top of the injectors themselves. The first two digits of the code is, in essence, the part number of the injector. So, it will either start with an 11 for the early 0506, a 13 for that problematic 06 to 09, or an 18 for the far later version. Lastly, do you need decode injectors? We've just produced a whole blog post on the whole Denso coding sequence, and I highly suggest you have a read of it because it's quite interesting. But the moral of the story is, do you need decode injectors? It is highly, highly recommended. It's a very, very simple step that costs virtually nothing, that takes virtually no time, and guarantees that you get the best performance out of your injectors. And when we're talking about such an expensive job, we think it's a bit of a no-brainer to just get that done. Now, hopefully you found this interesting. As you can see, we've got so much information and so much content. We just love helping the diesel community. Here at Diesel Geeks, we're all about diesel engines, but more so, we're all about diesel people. So we hope you got some value from that. If you could subscribe, we'd love that. It makes a massive difference to what we're doing here, helps us keep producing content. And also, if you do feel like you might need some Hilux injectors, please do check out uh, our Diesel Geeks affiliated workshops or check out our web store at dieselgeeks.com.au. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers.